I think you can leave this room now, I think. Or talk to him, I don't know. Um, Piakia, I'm about the genocide Jack Case file. Can you let me see it? That's fine. Well, you didn't beg, but I suppose it's okay this time. Feel free to look at it in here, but you can't take it with you. I like how it just says top secret on the yeah. front. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking at this, and it's not in red, so it's bullshit. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Piaka and handed me the file, and I flipped through it with tense, nervous fingers. Suddenly, my hand stopped. I had reached the page where photos of the scenes of each crime had all been collected. The names of Genocide Jack's victims ran on for several pages. The murder took place in the parking lot of the... Uh, he just suffered multiple stab wounds across his body, believed to have been inflicted with the same scissors that were later used to attach the victim to the wall. Suffering multiple stab wounds across the body. Yeah, okay, it says right here, as with the other cases, as the scene of the crime, the word bloodlust was written in the victim's blood. The scissors used in the murder were apparently custom made, with every pair left of each murder scene seeming to have been the same mastermind. Of the same mastermind in construction. Same material in construction. In construction. Material. Okay. Yeah, you're correct. Um, you might be noticing a trend, though. Yeah. This is... The one thing became perfectly clear as I read. All the killer's countless victims were killed and suspended in exactly the same way. And at the seam of every murder, the word bloodlust was left in the victim's own blood. Come on, Nagy. There's another thing you just fucking glossed over. God dang it. Yeah. We read it on the screen, so I... This is some bullshit. Now take a look at the next page and you'll find another interesting tidbit. Next I don't page. even mean that, Gabe. Profiling results? All of the crimes took place either on weekday on weekdays at night or during holidays, either day or night. The most common time for the killings to take place was on the holidays in the afternoon. Based on these facts, it could be suggested that this suspect may be a student. Evidence suggests that the suspect lingered at the scene, but when they did leave, they were in a panic. Because an eyewitness has never come forward, it's unlikely there was any external reason for this. This confused behavior suggests that the suspect may potentially suffer from a dissociative identity disorder. So, in other words... The key point here is that the culprit may well have a split personality. Split personality? Like the kind of thing you see on TV. So I'm the I'm part of another totally unbelievable story, but this one is way more believable than anything else until now. Or maybe it really isn't. I don't know. I feel like my mind has gone numb. Let's go. All right, we should get going soon. Huh? Where are we going? Anywhere but here. We finished our business here, haven't we? Oh wait, Piakitan. As usual, Byakun turned and left without another word. I hurried out of the library to catch up. <laughs> well, this is where we part ways. I have some things I need to take care of before this class trial. Huh? Just all of a sudden like that? Time to play with you. Come on, enough of your annoying misapprehensions. Did you really think we'd be together the whole time? Take responsibility for yourself and do something useful. Move the investigation forward on your own. Well, goodbye. And just like that, he was gone. Just as quickly as he'd asked me to join him, he'd cut me off. In the end, I felt like I was just some plaything getting tossed around. And at the same time, I'd cover some really important clues thanks to him. Genocide Jack, he's the one that killed Jihiro. And that murderous fiend is one of us. But who is it? I have to find them out that out no matter what it takes. To do that, there's somewhere I have to go investigate one more time. I have to go back to the scene of the crime, the girls' locker room. I should check out the boys' locker room, too. And the others might have come up with some info I might find useful while I'm at it. I need to find out everything I can. Just a sec. What? Uh, curiosity. Without the dickhead here. First off, can I look at any of this stuff? I don't think so. I have a computer and no believe it is, thank you very much. So talking about the secret council reveal the so I guess I'd better not. No one would know. Mastermind would know. And? 
Why would he care? He'd get a good laugh out of it. Mm -hmm. Want to take another look at Jennifer Jack's case file? It's gone. I fucking knew it. Did someone take it out of the archive? But the only one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. I have no idea about he that. He told you but you I... couldn't take it, just so he could take it. Yep. I had a feeling. I had a really big feeling. Hello, Hifumi. How awesome. Hifumi has discovered Everest revealing the identity of the culprit! Another stat increase for me! Evidence? What did he find? I cannot reveal that just yet! But I guarantee you that what I found was steal the killer's breath from his lungs! Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? Damn it. <laughs> oh yeah, Miss Ludenberg said she'd witnessed something worthwhile too. Really, what did she see? She refused to tell me. It's like when a girl bullies the boy she likes, right? No. Right? Mm -mm. No. Okay, so where's Celeste mm -mm. now? The warehouse by the dorm. She was there, but at the same time, not there. What's it gonna be? I think you can go talk to her if you want. I plan on it. Hey, Mondo. To a real complex about well, you know, no. So none of this is new, but you're in a different spot, which means there's a possibility you might have something new to say. Hey Kyoko, have you made any progress in your investigation? Generally speaking. However. But I have to get going, I have something unrelated to take care of. Something besides the investigation? What is it? Wow. I'm hungry, you Nothing bastard. You need to worry about. Just concentrate on the matter. So but, then, before I go, let me give you one piece of advice. You should examine Chihiro's body one more time, thoroughly. Also, her handbook is missing. You might want to determine its whereabouts. Goodbye. That's it. I'll be praying for your success. With that, Kyoko turned and left the girls' locker room. I guess I'll have another look at the body then. And Chihiro's handbook is missing? That's definitely worth worrying about. Kyoko said I should examine the body one more time. I know she said thoroughly, but I do have my limits. Well, I'd better give it a shot anyway. Let's see. Chihiro's hands are bound with what looks like some kind of rope. The rope was used to prop her up in some kind of crucifix position. Huh? The rope has a plug? Yeah. Mm. Wait, so then it isn't rope at all. But the more I think about it, the more that's not the only thing that concerns me. Jiro's fatal injury was the blow to the head, which means someone struck her in the head in order to kill her. That's right. There's the issue of being suspended in the fatal blow. At first, I didn't see any reason to think too much about either of them. But seeing them again after looking through the Genocide Jack file, something's not quite right. What does this all mean? Status of the dead body is added to the truth board section. Well, the one thing most likely to tie all these mysteries together is the true nature of the rope that was used to spench Hero. And to figure that out, there's a certain place I need to revisit and look over again. Plus, it might help to look at Genocide Jack case file one more time. I already did. I, I tried to. Yeah, okay, I jumped the gun apparently, but we should have noticed him pick it up and hide it under his arm or whatever. We were supposed to come all the way here and then go back and it be missing. Oops. Oops. Chiro's hands are not looking like Yeah, so I think now you can either go, um... I have three places to, to go. The boys locker room. Oh, this is the door to the pool? Yeah. I always assumed it was the door out of the room. What? Oh, apparently there's more to do here. Hi there. Sakura. Chihiro's presence here was especially weak. Her body and her soul. No forgiveness. To target such a helpless being, it's unforgivable. What a wretched beast to do such a thing. I... I cannot forgive this. Girls' locker room doesn't seem like the kind of place you find something like that. I think you can go now. 
No. Unless something happened. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Okay, I'm allowed to leave now. Or maybe look at the photo of the big rescue. Oh, I think both. But... Probably a bit of both. Big boobies? Let's look. Huh? This poster. It's a popular boy band called Tornado. So, well, it doesn't quite seem to fit in the boys' locker room. Oh, but wait, that reminds me. This poster was in the other walk. The poster in the other locker room is. That's right, there's definitely something strange about this. In the boys' locker room, there's supposed to be a popular boy band. In the girls' locker room, there's supposed to be a big breasted swimsuit model. Could the posters have been switched? But if they were. Why? What reason would anyone have? Maybe we should talk to somebody who knows a little bit more about the locker room. If you come in here before, you can look at the posters. You didn't, but you could come and look in the posters in this room, and you would see the, like they were. I, I saw the, the rooms. I saw the swimsuit model when I came in here before. Yeah, but you can investigate them, like look at them. Also, the on the floor. It looks like somebody took a dump. There's a strange chain on the carpet. What is it? I go to the pool here? Yeah. Both locker rooms lead to the pool, Gabe. Yeah, but I couldn't go through the other door. Some kind of clue in the lockers. I guess not. Sorry. Monokuma coins. It's necessary. I think that's it. There's at least leech. Uh, wait, this is probably the seat, right? Wait. Really? Yeah, I don't know. Alright, I guess this is just for later or something. Alright, then I'm out of here. At least now he finally got over his constantly talking about everything, mm -hmm. like every monitor in every room. As you look at and talk about the monitor. I was skipping it. I just wanted a coin, to be honest. Alright, so now we can talk right. to Celeste. Yep. And was there something else? Hey, Donut! Do I have to talk to him again? Try going back in the girls' locker room, actually. And now talk to Sakura. Or, yeah, I guess I would have to investigate the photo and talk to Sakura. So, talk to her because she knows a bit more about the locker rooms. So one more time exercise in the girls' locker room, right, Sakura? I've used it nearly every day since it opened up. Sometimes Hina and I use it together. Okay, then let me ask you something. Do you think the posters in the boys' and girls' locker room could have been switched? Sorry. sorry, I can't really say. I never paid any attention to the posters. I see. But there is something that's been bothering me about the locker room. You see, I like to drink a little protein coffee every time I, ex I finish exercising. We have protein coffee? Mm. In the warehouse. It's not the highest quality, but I don't have any a lot of options. I like how Nagi is just like, I feel like I've been left out. Like... <laughs> I mix prot in pal pro <laughs> <laughs> I mix protein powder with coffee and down a glass of it after exercising. Anyway, the other day I spilled some on the carpet in the girls locker room and it left a stain. A stain? I don't see any stain on the carpet now. Exactly, I noticed it earlier. The stain has disappeared. I can only assume someone came along and cleaned it up. But still, isn't it unusually clean, as if there was never a stain here to begin with? Yeah, I mean, it's really not hard to tell what's happened, yeah. guys. I think you can go now. Everything has been swapped out. I was honestly going to ask Hina, not Sakura, because I figured Hina was here just as much as Sakura. 
Nah, Hina's in the pool, not the locker rooms. Yeah, but she might have noticed the thing. I didn't expect Sakura to notice a boy band uh, poster thing. Yeah. No. Do you not? No. No. <laughs> Back okay. away. To the right. To the right. To the right. To the right. You're going the wrong way, you fool. Oh, warehouse, not the. Yeah, okay, that makes sense, yeah. I forget that the warehouse isn't down there, it's over here. I've only been in there once. Well. Bite me. Okay. Ow. Damn. <sighs> Damn. Celeste, what are you doing here? <laughs> this warehouse is amazing. It has absolutely everything one might need to live a full life. <laughs> I forgot that was her voice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's great. I love it. From food to towels to clothes. <laughs> But that's how it There's Eva. an endless supply to choose from. I see that, but have you found anything related really to the case? I knew you were gonna ask me that. I thought talking about the warehouse itself might misdirect you, but I see it was pointless. You did find something. <laughs> Very well, I will tell you, and only you. Actually. Last night, I saw her here. Chihiro was in the warehouse. Getting some protein coffee. What? Really? This was right before night time. Hmm? What are you doing out this late? Oh, um, I was just... Are you planning to go exercise, perhaps? What? How did you know? Because I can see a blue track jacket sticking out of that duffel bag you're carrying. Oh, you're right. Thanks. Well, I'd better get going. I'm kind of in a hurry. <sighs> she stuffed the jacket into her bag in a hurry. It was almost like she was trying to hide it. And just like that, she was gone. Yes, indeed. I assume she was merely stocking up to go exercise in the morning, but... It would appear she ignored the nighttime rule and headed directly to the girls' locker room. <sighs> If she hadn't broken our rule, none of this ever would have happened. Get what you deserve, I suppose. So apparently, she went to the girls' locker room late at night in order to exercise without anyone knowing. But the strange thing is, there's no trace of the track jacket or duffel bag Celeste said she would, saw Chihiro carrying, which means the killer would have gotten rid of it somehow. So. Now you can go where I think you were heading. I think we're supposed to look over there. So, real quick. Hello. Um. I need to confirm. Does this seem right to you? Yeah. Okay. Why? Not, no reason. I'm wondering if it was one of those schools. It is, yeah. So it's a raise the the gate, I don't have the key so I can't activate it. It's the trash room, the dump in the other words, but with the gate in the way I can't actually get inside. Anyway, it's not right at the case. Mm. I guess not. Assuming this is the door out of here? Yeah. So like I dumb, said, that's the only thing I don't like about this game is that sometimes doors lead to other rooms, sometimes they lead to outside. Thought I could actually transport straight there, but no. I'm careful not. You always transport right outside. Well, yeah, but I figured it would put me outside, not, you know, down the hall. The wooden box is empty. The extension cord was in there before. Jerry Sir Jack's file is gone after some Yakigon took it. I think you, if you yeah. go out, look at the, uh, the cord. Yeah, I plan on it. Thick layer of dust on top of the desk. Maybe some other kind of cool here. Guess not. What? Try the lamp itself. Huh? The lamp will turn on. Oh, I see. It's not plugged in. The lamp's cord isn't long enough to reach the outlet from here, but last time I saw it, it was definitely on, and it was definitely right here. Oh, that's right. Piakon was using the extension cord. But there's no extension cord here now. I wonder if... I like how this is like a triple red herring. Yeah. 
To be fair, Bianchi fucking did this himself. Dining hall. I guess we could talk to Owie. Whatever happened to Toko? Come on. Toko's still in her room. Yeah, but Owie's like, I'll stay out here and just watch over her, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna go get donuts. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hey, you donut eating motherfucker. Oh, Hina, how's Toko doing? Same as before, she won't come out and she just keeps on mumbling something about Genocide Jack. <laughs> so I just left her there. You left her? My head was all swimmy and I was getting pretty hungry. Yeah. I was joking. Oh, but don't worry, I'm gonna head back as soon as I'm done eating. Choco's not exactly pleasant, but I'm still worried about her. Speaking of which, what are you eating? A donut, of course! <sighs> <laughs> I was joking! I was joking! You motherfucker! Of course? There are two things I'm sure God created. Outer space and donuts. Space! You are a space case, to be fair. Is that why she likes swimming? Because she wants to be an astronaut? I don't know. She wants to feel like zero G. Hmm. Really? I bet Chihiro would have liked to eat more donuts. Maybe that was her one big regret. Aww. Oh, I should have tried to spend more time with her. Yes, you should have. As sh we should have as well. Come to think of it, who did she spend time with? Us. Uh, us. Primarily oh. us. Yeah, she was a little bit strange. Didn't really hang out with the other girls much. It was like she was trying to keep her distance from us. Actually, Sakura said something similar. She said that even though you and her invited Chihiro to exercise with you, she always yeah, refused. Totally. Yep, yeah, it's true. And it wasn't just us, either. It was like she stayed away from all the girls. Was she just shy? Mm. I don't know. She talked to the boys all the time. Isn't it kind of weird to be shy around your own sex, but be totally fine with the opposite sex? Not if no, that's how you're raised. No, actually. No, there's a lot of people in the world like that. Stop being so judgmental. Oh, Not wait, judgmental, maybe. but ignorant. Maybe she was used to guys spoiling her. The law says you can't touch a book by its cover, right? I don't know if the you law know, says that's that. Wrong. You think so? I never really saw her as that kind of girl. Considering we were good friends with her, almost best friends with her, yeah, no, I think what we would know that that's not the case. Hmm. Bing bong. Um, so, uh, I'm getting tired of waiting. Shall we just plunge right in? It's the moment you've all been waiting for! The class trial! You remember where to meet, right? Please go through the red door we in the dining on the hall, first right? floor of the school. Sorry, Owie. We've got to get those donuts <laughs> on the road. See you soon! Begin the class trial, or it's about to begin... Or what? This is our only choice. The red door is right through here. Assuming I'm not allowed to go anywhere else. No. That's why I told for I want to gamble. <clears throat> so is everybody ready to what? Am I blind? Or are we missing someone? Yo. Yeah, Toko's not here. Huh? And Toko is. You really? Come on. Kidding? I'm kidding. How can I forget something that? How could I forget that little nut job? She's just a crucial part of the class this time. What are you gonna do? Okie dokie, I'll go ahead and drag her out here, kicking and screaming. Just one moment, please. Just like he said a few minutes later, he reappeared dragging Toko behind him. I killed him, I didn't want to, but he forced me. I can't believe you would drag a girl around. Don't tell me you're gonna start getting a crush on the bear now. Yeah. Terrible! You're terrible! So now everyone's here, right? Okay then, hustle onto the elevator and let's get start let's get the show on the road. I'll see you guys down there. Let's go. 
So shall we get going? It's about time to figure out who killed Chihiro. Chihiro. Chihiro Fujisaki. She's so gentle, so calm and meek. Nobody had any problems with her. Someone made the choice to kill a girl like that. And that murderer is one of us. Someone standing right here. I will uncover the villain who performed such heinous acts on a weaker individual. I don't know why the killer did what they did, but I'm sure it'll work itself out just as always prevails. Right, bro? Shall we go? I mean, she said basically that. So. Yes, I, yeah, yeah, I'm loving it. Hey, come on. Fucking Toko, man, what's got her so worked up? There's something odd about Tauko's behavior. Yeah, I mean, she hasn't told me to shut up yet. I don't think mere shock is enough to explain it. <laughs> I guess I wasn't going to tell it all on this one. <laughs> I gave you plenty to work with. Show us how far your logic can take you. You're gonna get a lot of coins when you do the fucking trial, so maybe, you know, get to solve in the murder. We have no choice, right? It's we true. have to do this. Yeah. I just said that. I um... gave a small nod in reply. With one last deep breath, I walked toward the elevator on shaky legs. With each step forward, I could feel my heart starting to race faster and faster. As soon as everyone was on, the elevator began to descend. I couldn't get a handle Into on my hell. emotions. <laughs> couldn't stop speculating. The steel box sank with heavy clunking sounds deeper and deeper into the ground. And as we went deeper, that easiness in my heart grew bigger and bigger. The elevator was unaffected, however, and continued to descend without hesitation. Until finally, it came to a sudden stop. 